Who is that Chinese Communist Party propagandist hiding behind the snake oil? Stay tuned to find out here on Free China. Lianhua Qingwen has been proven very effective as a treatment for COVID-19. <laughs> Said nobody ever. Wait a minute. Didn't somebody say that before? Hmm, I wonder. They've also proven very effective to treat COVID-19. Now, you might remember a little while ago I made two videos about this so-called medicine that the Chinese government touted as a treatment for COVID-19. I'm not even kidding. In the treatment of COVID-19, symptoms are reduced by over 90%. I'm not going to go on for too long about my previous videos because you can go and watch them if you want to. But to summarize, I showed that this Lianhua Qingwen crap is banned in several countries. It's not FDA approved in the States, and it didn't even make it past clinical trials. It's pretty much just snake oil at best, and it can't even treat the common cold. And I wouldn't even touch this stuff, even if you paid me. Anyway, there's a whole new chapter to this Lianhua Qingwen story, and I've discovered a whole lot more. So, this snake oil has been heavily touted by the Chinese government as a treatment for COVID-19, right? They've been handing this stuff out like it grows on trees throughout the many lockdowns that we've witnessed in China of late. But that's not the case in Taiwan, because Taiwan is not a part of China, right? And this snake oil has been prohibited by Taiwan's Ministry of Health and Welfare, where if you look at this article, it says that Lianhua Qingwen is a prohibited drug. I also know from first-hand experience that Lianhua Qingwen is prohibited in Taiwan, because I once tried to upload a video exposing Lianhua Qingwen capsules on my Taiwan channel, YGZ Lu Yisi. The video contained segments of propaganda pushing the snake oil as a treatment for COVID, but I was only commenting on it and trying to expose it. I put traditional Chinese subtitles on the video, and I guess YouTube in Taiwan thought that it was me that was actually pushing the snake oil as a treatment for COVID because they took down the video straight away for medical misinformation and gave my channel a community strike, which it still has to this day. Now, if you look at some of the ingredients that make Lianhua Qingwen, you can see that it contains ephedra, a banned herbal ingredient here in the UK. This medicine was banned in Australia for this exact same reason. But what I don't understand is, how on earth am I able to purchase the stuff here on Amazon in the UK? What the hell is going on? And what the hell is this? Thank you. <laughs> I hope we'll get a wrestling. Love you, baby. Take this. <laughs> no, don't take it. Do not take those tablets, those capsules. Take it. No, no, don't. Mm. 
Merry Christmas, Lianhua Qingwen. Oh, let me see it. <laughs> huh? Ooh, it's the advert. This is crazy. Mm, Just working out. <laughs> <coughs> now it's making me cough. It's good there, Lian Hachim. Oh my god. To be with you at every important moment of your life. Every important moment of your life, Lian Hua Ching Wen. <laughs> a commercial in English aimed at a Western audience trying to promote a so called medicine that's been banned in most Western countries. The way the video is framed is that COVID must be a huge problem in the West. And ah, yes, Lianhua Qingwen capsules worked so well in China. So we can clearly tell from watching this commercial that they are trying to associate Lianhua Qingwen with COVID-19. Look at the guy in the commercial who can't get onto his flight because of the virus. And then he gets Lianhua Qingwen for his Christmas present and everything is fine. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And check out the description on this video on YouTube, a platform that's banned in China, by the way. But check out this video's description. Under the epidemic, when you work overtime late at night, there are bursts of coughing. When you are alone abroad, the flight is cancelled due to the epidemic. When you are a little embarrassed on different occasions, strangers give you familiar warmth. When you have no relatives or friends at your wedding, but family members far away consider your health, at every important moment in life, Lianghua Qingwen capsules will give you the love and warmth. <laughs> what the hell? This isn't the first or the last time Lianhua Qingwen have tried to pull the wool over our eyes. Do you remember those CCP shills who tried to pass it off as a treatment for COVID-19? If not, here's a quick recap. Now I'm here today to tell you about Lianhua Qingwen capsules. These are commonly used to treat influenza and colds, but they've also proven very effective to treat COVID-19. This is one of the first medicines to be approved here in China for treatment of mild and moderate symptoms of COVID-19. During the initial outbreak of coronavirus, these were used to treat nearly 100 million people around the globe. The results of a clinical trial published in Phytomedicine, a European journal, showed that in the treatment of COVID-19, symptoms were reduced by over 90%. So there you have it. That's exactly why you should be picking up Lianhua Qingwen capsules to stay safe. That was father and son, Lee and Oliver Barrett, known propagandists for the Chinese Communist Party. So anyway, those guys are just two puppets. But guess what? Lianhua Qingwen is back. And this time, it's cool. Lianhua Cool Burst. Burst. And blast. Release the purest, fresh feeling. Lianhua Cool Burst. Cool breath, cool freshness. And looky what we have here. We have the same CCP shill trying to sell us this stuff. Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about these. Lianhua Cool Burst. These are essentially small beads filled with essential food grade oils of Asian peppermint and patchouli. And you can apply these small beads to your face mask and you're going to get a really fresh, pepperminty smell. So I'm about to show you how to apply these to a mask. 
So as you can see, these come in a really small, compact case, so you're able to use them anywhere at any time. You want to tap two beads out onto your hand, carefully place them under the folds on the mask and squeeze them so the essential oils are released and then just wear your mask as usual. such a fresh pepperminty smell and for someone like me who's always got a blocked nose it really helps ease my congestion so as well as being used for masks these beads can also be used to treat those nasty mosquito bites so all you have to do is squeeze one and rub the essential oil on your arm and you're going to ease the irritation and the itchiness that they cause you so apply two of these to your face mask and it's going to give you up to four hours of a fresh smell and it's going to make you feel a whole lot better when you're walking around day to day i can tell you i'm definitely going to be putting these on my mask every day from now on now who knows if these beads that you put on your mask works or not but remember that Tweedledum here is the same guy that promoted Lianghua Qingwen capsules without even batting an eyelid. And who could forget his vegetable dance propaganda video for the Chinese Communist Party, where he wasn't trying to sell us vegetables, but instead was pushing Xi Jinping's soft power propaganda that China can be a self-reliant country, able to grow its own vegetables. But don't just take my word for it. Look, here's his old man saying that his son will promote literally anything with absolutely no idea what the product is. And what they also did after that, that speech, they got a number of sort of um, products and businesses then. It was like, oh, just hold this and say that you endorse this product kind of thing. And, and you know, you, 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 uh, they, they got Ollie do it, doing a few of these where they wanted to sort of endorse products that we'd, <laughs> we'd literally seen five minutes ago and, and didn't know nothing about. And <laughs> that's not to say those products were bad in any way, but we just yeah. didn't really know anything about them. So with this in mind... I think it's safe to say that this Lianhua Cool Burst crap is complete and utter garbage. Even in China, where the people are supposed to listen to their government and buy into the CCP's narrative, Lianhua Qingwen has become a massive joke amongst the Chinese people. They're not buying into this snake oil at all. During the many lockdowns over the past several years that the Chinese people have unfortunately had to endure, they were given heaps of these Lianhua Qingwen capsules. And do you know what they did? They took this snake oil crap and made it into a bunch of hilarious memes. Check this out, they're absolutely brilliant. Even now, with Covid spreading around like wildfire all around China, the Chinese people want absolutely nothing to do with Lianhua Qingwen. According to this article from the South China Morning Post, Chinese people are demanding paracetamol instead of this ridiculous snake oil. And can you really blame them? So, unlike Oli Barrett and the ridiculous Chinese Communist Party, avoid Lianhua Qingwen capsules like the plague. Thanks for watching today's video guys and please don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Um, but I just hope that there's not too many hospitalities, fatalities, and, um, you know. Yeah! Look at our sunset. Ooh.